Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we looked at filament email authentication and two-factor authentication. So I received a comment asking me to cover passport reset in filament. So in this video, we'll dive into that along with some other important features like email verification, email change verification, as well as the passport reset. So we'll be working in filament before project and I will walk you through everything step by step. So before we jump in, there are two important things to keep in mind, right? So first thing, if you are working with multiple panels in your filament app, uh, because the things, the authentication features that we are using are just very simple. We'll just change the method. Right, we'll just we just need to call the method from our panel. So if you have multiple panels in your filament app, then you will need to add these features for each panel, right? If you have if you have the login method in each panel, right? Let's just suppose I have admin panel. I also have let's say um, let's say uh, feedback panel provider. Then I need the same feature in that feedback panel provider too for password reset or profile let's just say profile then what you we can do is we can just create a base panel right base panel provider where we will configure all these method once and then we can extend that so that it will be easier for us and the second simple simple step is we can just copy paste the method in each panel provider right so now for this video i will just use a single panel provider so let's start and the next thing is make sure the email configuration is set up correctly because we, we must need to receive the email and for my setup I am using mailhog to trap outgoing emails so I'll just run the mailhog and let me go to localhost 8825 right so it is very super useful for testing locally so let's start with password reset so if I log out and up to now there is no anything right so filament makes it very super simple so what we can do is in our admin panel provider let me close my terminal and let me zoom in uh, I'll just edit the last okay so what I can do is I can add password reset so here you can see by default it, it reset request password request reset class is passed right so if you want to extend any features from that you can al always create a custom class that will extend this and pass it for now i will be using the default one so let's see a quick demo what happened now so if i refresh the page now i can see the forget password so let me try to click on this perfect so now I will just add my email filament at the red test.com send email that's it we have emailed your password reset link so if I see here I did not get any email and the reason is to for this to work properly make sure our queue work is running because everything every emails are queued by default so for that i need to run let me open the new terminal and let's say q work now you can see the reset password is sent perfect so if i go here and i receive the mail exam from example filament at the red test.com reset password and see this is the def default laravel one right so you are re receiving this email because we received a request password and I can click on reset password and it will autofill my email and I can try this new password let's say test1234 test134 reset dash sheet so now if I try to use the old one it will not work if I will extend it to new one yes this is working perfectly so now that's it it is very simple the second thing that we are going to see is uh, email verification right 
so if you go here on users table there is a timestamp with email verified at right so now what if we want user must verify the email before uh, going through our panel so let me try to log out this and it's very simple I just need to add email verification here that's it nothing to do else nothing to much more so if I try to log in again so let me one two three four see it is saying my we have sent an email to this containing instruction on how to verify your email address not receive then it's to resend it right let me refresh it I think it's the job is not called it so let me try click on recent yeah now verify email is here so if I go to mail hog yes I received the email right please click the button to verify your email address so let's say PSP artisan tinker user is just to find maybe three no user is to latest first so here you can see this is my user right and email verified is null so let's see what will happen the email is verified right so now let me sure you can see in the timestamp that email is verified here is the difference so this is how we can use this feature and then now the last feature is email change verification so if I go to profile and suppose I have this email and now I want to change my email address right so so while that we must need to verify that so to enable this it is also very simple we just need to call email change verification that's it and let's suppose uh, I am doing filament to laravel at the rate test.com and save changes okay I need to enter the current passport save changes okay so it, it has sent me an email so if I go to my job okay here you can see there it runs two two job one is notice of email change request and another is verify email change and if I go here I received two emails so the first one is to the original email so here I received that we received a request to change the email address associated with this account so this is the information so which I get in the original one and in the new one I get the messages please verify your email address if I click on verify that's it so to summarize with just a few methods calls inside our panel provider we can enable password reset email verification and email change verification right and if you are working with multiple panels don't forget to either copy these methods into each panel provider or extract them into a base provider on the basis of your needs and also make sure email setup is correct as well as your queue worker is running so that's it for the video we covered password reset email verification and email change verification in filament so if you found this helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment if you like me to cover any other filament topics thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one